Hi, Clayton McLeod here. I just want to show you something uh, concerning iRacing and triple monitor setups. Once you go with three screens, you've got a couple of problems. One is these bezels. They're breaking up the image. And the other is on your side screens, you will have some stretching distortion. This is due to the whole image being drawn as one from the view of one camera and there are ways to deal with both of those problems um, the bezels themselves um, you can use your video drivers bezel management to take care of those or you can use iRacing's method and I'll show you both um, I'll just flick between uh, two images here to show you what it looks like once your bezels are taken care of. You can see here that the mirror upright is split between the screens and the tire is looking very wide as a result of the same thing. And there is with bezel management enabled. You can see now how it's drawn as if it's just drawn behind the bezel. Um, your video drivers deals with this by creating custom resolutions. What they do is just add extra pixels to the image that it renders and then uh, once it outputs to the screens it just drops the, those sections that are, would be hidden by the bezels and then uh, you get a continuous image. In my case there's about 300 pixels for my bezels so I've got a custom resolution of 6060 by 1080 which is 300 over the native resolution of 5760 and that accounts for the bezels there but what it doesn't account for is the stretching on the sides you still get the same stretching now so far iRacing is the only software I know of that actually takes into account uh, those side monitors and how they should be drawn a little bit differently to correct for that kind of distortion um, when you turn on iRacing's render each screen separately option uh, this takes care of uh, distortion on the sides and it, you get a more accurate picture on the sides but the problem with this at the moment because I'm using the video drivers bezel management once you turn that on it also uses its own bezel management so now you're getting those bezels being handled twice which means your image is just broken up incorrectly again so unless you really want to live with that distortion on your side monitors you don't want to be using the video drivers bezel management what you want to do is use iRacing solution this means going back to uh, native resolution of 5760 and turning the render each screen separately option on the uh, left or the sorry the right side of this uh, screen shows you some measurements of your monitors that you need to take care of and enter and once you have those um, your field of view will be calculated for you um, this is an image that does not have monitor measurements entered in yet and that's um, why you can see this piece of the steering wheel broken up etc um, once you enter in the widths, your bezels will be taken care of, um, but you also need to enter in the angle of your screen so that the rest of the image is drawn correctly. Once you have the uh, angle entered, it will draw your sides without all that distortion. Here is with monitor dimensions in but no angle you can see the distortion and that mirror is stretched pretty long and there's with the angle entered that stretching distortion is then corrected so i hope that helps you out have a good one